Best of r slash tales from retail episode 93. Subscribe for Reddit videos daily. Obligatory on mobile so formatting etc. I've done retail for 3. 5 years so I'm not naive to how people are. This past summer I was working at a hardware store where they sell the little plastic kiddie pools. Because it was a hot summer they sold out quickly but they finally got some more in. There were two sizes both said blue pool and the size. When they restocked the smaller one was yellow but the same price. A customer asked for a pool. I asked her which size and she didn't know but said the blue one. So the bigger one. I rang her up and totaled her out. After the entire transaction was done she looks at the receipt and says it's too much and it's cheaper than that. I told her that I asked her which one and she said the blue one which is the bigger one in that price. She said no she meant the other one. Why she didn't tell me previously I have no idea because I told her the total. Okay no big deal. I ray rang her up and returned the other one and gave her the difference. Afterwards, again after I rang everything and totaled her completely out. She said I was wrong and she meant the yellow one. The receipt said blue. So I explained that it's the same price they just got a different color and didn't change it and the computer. But she's having a hissy for saying it's yellow and isn't listening to me. So I go outside with her to show her what I mean. She then begins yelling at me saying she wanted the blue one. WTF you kept saying yellow. And I rang her up wrong. I try to explain again to not look at what is on the tag but tell me which physical color but she's yelling at me. I'm fed up at this point and call one of the assistant managers to come and deal with her. She sorts it out and the store manager comes out as well to see what is up. In the end my managers realized I was right and my store manager said he's seen her before, always strung out and not making sense. He apologized to me, which while I was irritated with the customer, was satisfying as it was the first time he ever apologized for anything in the two. Five years I worked for him. Don't do drugs. Thank you. Next. One night I was manager on duty at the grocery store I worked for. It was a fairly normal Monday night. A bit of a rush that slowly began to die on, eventually to the near ghost town I was experiencing. I began to block and stock baby food, a normal thing for me when I suddenly hear my name to seafood immediately. My seafood guy is reliable so I quickly dash over to his department. I see him try to run over to me, but for some reason he begins to slip. I chuckle a bit, but I'm confused what caused him to nearly fall. I begin to walk over to him, when it feels like the floor under me is entirely liquid and I stumble myself. I look down to see clear, and then a blow liquid. Then the smell hits me. My seafood guy quickly points out to me the meat is all covered in detergent, and that the customer had made her way to the produce section. I run over to only see that the salad bar and bananas were covered in detergent. I am flustered and yell profanities over the headset. I then explain the situation as security tells me oh yeah she's doing that right now on the floor. I run over and force security to apprehend her as we called the police. As security tried to apprehend the customer she began to eat flower petals and threw other customers items out of their cart. The police arrived and arrested her. I then spent the next two hours cleaning with my seafood guy and my salad bug girl. I was 17. Thank you. Next. Hey guys. I posted a story a few days ago but I deleted it since I used too much exclamation points. I fixed it so here we go. Long. I used to be a cashier at this grocery store and this was my first job ever. Anyway, this older man comes into my line to get check out with a 12 pack of beer. I'm like alright that's fine. Then I noticed he was a little intoxicated because the way he was swaying around and when he spoke, the words sounded slurred. But either way you know I'm trying to be polite and try to show good customer service. I start asking nicely on how he doing. Then this is when I realize I may have messed up. Customer, I'm not doing so okay honestly. Me, I'm like or oh, I'm sorry to hear that like what going on? He literally starts crying just full blown tears going down his face. I literally just stared at him for a while not knowing what to do or say. Like the whole situation was so unexpected. It literally felt so awkward. Like how am I supposed to make a grown man stop crying especially when he had vomit residue at the corner of his mouth. I didn't know what to do or say. I didn't even call my manager. Then he starts tell me about how he was related to one of the girls who got killed because of some gang activity that she was involved with. It was big news in my town because it just something you would never expect to happen in our town. 
Plus the way she got murdered was extremely just gruesome and sad. When I say nobody expected it like nobody did. Going back to the customer, I start telling him how extremely sorry I am for his loss. Like I felt bad because I didn't know what else to say since I never experienced losing someone in death. I tried my best to console him. Meanwhile I'm baffled that nobody is looking at him or even paying attention while he literally sobbing. It's either they weren't interested or didn't want to look his way. However he stops crying out of nowhere and picks up his phone to dial his significant other. He starts hysterically crying again and saying to that person to take him back. That's he sorry for everything like. He would do anything for them. I don't remember if she picked up or he left a voicemail but then he makes another call to them. Then his whole mood changes and he get a little violently angry. At this point he is yelling at the phone telling their significant other that they're a cheater. The customer is telling whoever is on the phone on how they don't appreciate him. Pretty much cursing them out on the phone calling them a whore. At this point everyone was looking but nobody said anything like literally says no one says anything. I haven't scanned his 12 beer pack because I'm just honestly so confused on what happening. After I scan it, he keep telling me to put them in the plastic bag. I'm like sir it doesn't fit and plus it will rip apart once you pick it up. He told me to try harder but these bags were meant like small food items you know the plastic ones. But then he like whatever I'll just carry it I'm still like WTF is happening? Then he proceeds to pay and leave the store, still talking on the phone. The only thing my manager was concerned was if he paid for the beer or not. The next customer that was next to them didn't even say a word. No one said a word and I even looked around to see if anyone would say anything but everyone just stood there blankly. Thanks for reading. Thank you. Next. This is my first time posting to Reddit, so forgive me if I make any rookie mistakes. I've been working in retail for almost 3 years now and have seen a lot of nonsense, but this one, in particular, bothers me. Usually, a guest will show some external signs before a freakout, seeming generally grumpy, have a tone when they speak, that kind of thing. But this time I got none of that. I was working as a cashier and this pair of older women and a younger woman are lingering at the end of my lane. One of the older women comes up to me, so I smile, thinking they're ready to check out. Her smile fades and she asks if I'm checking. I look up at my light on instinct, because I occasionally forget to flip it on before I start to shift. I notice it is indeed on, turn to her, and nod with a smile. She places a hand on the counter, leans in, and says in the most condescending voice, is that a yes? Are you speaking? That kinda surprised me. I often respond to guests non-verbally if it's not necessary for me to speak, and no one has ever called me out on it or said anything negative about it. I sorta just stammered out an affirmative response. I may have asked her if she was okay. Not sure why I did that. I'm pretty unnerved at this point, but very ready to move on with my life, so I try to make conversation with them like I would any other guest. The how are you guys today came out very strained and unnatural sounding, which made me even more nervous. There is a little habit I have. If I'm nervous or uncomfortable, I try to avoid eye contact. This time, the habit came out as a glance to the side, followed by me quickly looking back over at them. One of the old ladies, the one who hadn't spoken yet, instantly started flipping out. Like, how dare you roll your eyes at my sister? That kind of thing. I was at a loss because 1. I didn't roll my eyes, and 2. While the situation was generally awkward, I didn't expect this kind of reaction from them. My eyes went wide and I recoiled, as is my usual surprise reaction. She called this to attention as well, though I'm not sure I remember the exact wording. Something about wide eyes. I think she was accusing me of a false reaction? I'm not sure. Anyways, she said something along the lines of, if you're gonna be like that, we'll go somewhere else. Like that was supposed to be the thing that fazed me. By this point, I was pretty pissed. I'd been having a good day up until that point, and they'd just dropped it out of the blue, falsely accused me of something I'd likely get in trouble for, and then left just as quickly. As they were turning to go, I said, if you're gonna be like that, I'm perfectly fine with it, and went back to life as usual. They went to self-checkout, where they harassed the poor woman over there about how unprofessional I was. That really freaked me out. Just, the whole thing. My co-workers seemed pretty freaked out too. 
and one of them delivered an actual I wrote when I told her about it, which made my day. TLDR. Crazy old ladies falsely accuse me of rolling my eyes at them. Cause a big scene. Thank you. Next. TL. Doctor at the bottom. This happened earlier today and it's still absolutely baffling. My store, around Christmas time, happens to be known as Canada's Christmas store. The thing is, we only have decorations around Christmas time and any we have left after the holiday are put on clearance and later stocked away in the warehouse, completely inaccessible until the next holiday season. Another policy is that we only accept refunds on decorations bought before Christmas until the 24th of December. This leads to today. I'm at the customer service desk, meaning I do returns and exchanges. A customer comes up with an item on a flat cart, meaning I can't see it over the counter at first. When I do look, I instantly notice that it's a large box, and looks distinctly Christmas-like. When I look at the receipt and look closer at the box, it's obvious that it's a Christmas tree. Keep in mind, it's the beginning of March. Even worse, the guy bought it before Christmas. I doubt I could have done anything if it was bought afterwards on clearance, but it was really a solid no for this. Me equals me, obviously C equals customer. Me, yeah, I can't return this. It was bought on X day in December and we only accept returns on decorations up until Christmas Eve. C, well, where does it say that? Me, pointing to the bottom of the receipt where it explicitly says no returns past the 24th and there would have been signs up at the caches when you bought this. C. Is there anything I can do? Me. Well it's not broken, so even if we had anything in stock I still couldn't exchange it. C. So what if it was broken? Me. Then if we had any other trees in stock, I could exchange it but we don't and it's not. Now, he didn't say so but I also assumed that it was used, meaning he had set it up and was trying to return it which is exactly why we have the policy in place, to stop people from using decorations for the season and then getting their money back. After this, he was surprisingly okay with just leaving and didn't bother arguing, which was a nice surprise, but it still is so weird to me that someone tried to return a Christmas tree in March. TL. Doctor a guy tries returning a Christmas tree in March, two and a half months after we stopped accepting returns on holiday decorations. Thank you. Next. Back with another tale from the hardware store, but first some background. The store was in an old building that always had problems with the furnaces, which were all up in the ceiling. They were constantly getting repaired. The repair guy took one of the ceiling tiles down and placed it on an end cap so it was out of his way. Enter confused customer, CC. CC grabs the ceiling tile and walks up to my register with it. CC, how much is this? Me, I'm not sure but I'll check for you. I look all over for a barcode or a scoop but find nothing but then I realized what it was. Me. This is a ceiling tile, but it's not for sale. CC. But this is exactly what I need. Me. I'm sorry but I can't sell you this. It's a part of the store. CC then leaves with no problems. This story baffles me, and this isn't even the weirdest customer exchange I've had. Edit. Formatting. Thank you. Next. So, I'm a cashier and I have more than a few stories but I thought this one was pretty entertaining. So, in my store it's part of my job to tag and put out clothes on their racks which means I'm very familiar with what tags are attached to the clothes. It's also store policy that returns are allowable up to 30 days. So, if you bought a shirt you have 30 days to return it or you won't be allowed to return it. I mention this because it's important for the story. One day this couple come into the store with a couple of pieces of clothing and ask for a return. I ask them if they have their receipt and they oh so conveniently misplaced it, then they actually set the clothes on the counter and I get a good look at them. First, these clothes look as if they were from the 80s. I'm talking really old, really musty, and could turn to dust if you looked at it wrong. Second, the tags were really old and outdated and unlike any of the tags hanging up in the store. Really? How stupid did these people think I was? What? Just because I work a register I won't be able to tell the difference? Me. How long ago did you buy these clothes? The wife. Just a few weeks ago. Me. Ma'am. These clothes are too old to be from here. However, they kept insisting they bought it here a few weeks ago. 
So, not wanting to deal with their BS I went and got my supervisor which is what you're supposed to do if you get a difficult customer. The story they told her was way I different. She immediately pointed out what I did and they changed their story. Apparently, their relative died and they were cleaning out her closet. They found these clothes, still had the tags for some reason, and decided to see if they could return them. Well, they didn't get their return so that's about it. Honestly, not my craziest or dumbest story but I wish customers would stop acting like cashiers or dumbasses without a single brain cell and supervisors slash managers are the only ones with an education. I once had to explain tax to a man, an older gentleman, who was confused as why his total was 4, 28 instead of 4, 14, tax, 7x your total, 7x1, 1, 072x2, 2, 14, 2x3, 3, 21, you get the idea, I explained it and he wouldn't listen until another customer explained it the same way I did, I hate retail, edit, I guess I probably didn't explain it as well as I thought, grinning face with squinting eyes and sweat drop, poor dude, I guess I can explain it better in my head.